Thank you, Christine. 633. More on daybreak right now. Coverage of the Wuhan coronavirus has spread worldwide, leaving many with questions. Researchers at West Texas A&M keeping their eyes on this and giving us their insight. ABC 7's Lamaya Harvell joins us with more. Lamaya. Yes, Lisa, stories cultivating on social media to newscasts have left us in quite a stir. But what do we know about the virus? Is uh, the U.S. at risk and where does it come from? This morning, researchers are breaking it down. According to the CDC, there are 6,512 confirmed cases worldwide, five of those cases here in the U.S. The death toll existing only in China, but rising to 132 people. Outbreak researchers say they are as a further research research and explore infectious diseases. They find the coronavirus to be not as uncommon as we think. Coronavirus, it, it has been a, um, a virus that has jumped species. This particular one looks like it has jumped uh, out of some kind of animal. It, the, the genetic sequence is closely related to bat coronavirus as well as the SARS coronavirus. Now we're in contact with a U.S. citizen who currently lives in China. Now they want to remain anonymous because of the censorship of the Chinese government. Now, however, they have told us that China is building new hospitals to deal with this outbreak. Food is getting scarce at several stores, including Walmart, and that they uh, say the masks are ineffective. We'll have more information on our website. Lisa, back to you. Well, Maya, thank you so much.